hi guys this is part of the week four that I wanted to show you um, just a little bit see how it says one half cup of grits with skim milk three tablespoons of non-fat dry powder uh, milk powder and the reason why she put that um, you are getting the skim milk however if you put the non-fat dry milk powder not only will it make it a little more creamier it will also give you extra added protein uh, I have not used the fat or uh, I'm sorry the uh, the non-fat dried milk powder. I've not used milk powder yet. Um, I may pick up some at the store. I'm not sure what three tablespoons, how much protein is in that. And then you see mid-morning it says 16 ounces of water or non-carbonated beverage. Lunch, they want you to have four ounces of, and I'm assuming the four ounces will be cooked, not raw, um, poached tilapia. Um, I'm not sure how much that fish shrinks um, I am more of a cod and salmon, so I may try to do salmon instead. Uh, I am very fearful of fish, especially that tastes a lot like fish. Um, but I can do tuna and salmon. Anyways, and then you see where you got 16 ounces of water or non-carbonated non beverage, um, 8 fluid ounces of skin milk. So this is all mid-afternoon. You're going to be sipping this. Uh, the skin milk will give you 9 grams of protein. Okay, I'm going to flip it. Dinner, where are we at? Dinner is a half a cup of chili. And then your evening is 16 fluid ounces of water, 8 ounces of fluid, skim milk, non-carbonated beverage, um, whatever you can fit in. And then your nutrition that day would be 63 grams of protein and 64 ounces of fluids, which is pretty much where they want you, uh, like again, it's 60 to 80 grams of protein um, do not feel too bad if you cannot eat the whole half cup of chili or whatever that you're eating, especially more dense protein. Just make sure that the chili has lean ground meat in it. Um, I'd like to show you another day. Again, this is the soft food phase, and this is my week four. Um, day two would be a half a cup of low-fat or fat-free Greek yogurt. You want to make sure that you find the Greek yogurt that has less sugar in it. Um... And that's that's hard because the Greek yogurt is more more sour, I would say, and they want to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, I I forget the brand I'm I'm getting right now. It's very close to the sugar limit that I can have, especially since it's not eight ounces. It's about four. So I really have to watch that. You don't want to get queasy and you don't want to dump. Um, okay, and then mid morning again, it's the 16 ounces of water or non carbonated beverage. Uh, I'm sure that says skim milk too. Uh, I'm trying to look and see if anywhere else. Maybe it doesn't. You know what? Maybe on that one it doesn't because I think it would be too many calories getting in. Um, and then it's the half a cup of broccoli cheddar soup. And then here she wants that was for lunch. And then mid afternoon, um, that's when the skim milk comes into play. I'm going to flip the page. Then this is going to be for dinner, and I know it doesn't seem like a lot, especially for you guys that are pre opt Trust me on this. This is going to be a lot for you. Um, if some days, like I said, you are going to be able to eat this, and some days, more so in the beginning, you will not. Um, this is only four weeks out for me. Um, the dinner would be two deli slices of lean turkey breast and one slice of reduced fat Swiss cheese, which I've done. I've actually also spread hummus on it. Um, yeah, it's give or take. Some people don't like that. I kind of find that I liked hummus a lot more before surgery than I do now. Um, you could also do reduced fat mayonnaise, or you could do um, some deli mustard. But what I did is I, I put the. Um, I actually did only one piece. It's saying two here. Uh, I guess maybe if it's thin, then you could do two. But if it's a little thicker, you might want to try with one first. Um, I spread that on the meat and then I put the cheese on top and then I roll it and then pin it with um, some toothpicks and then I put some saran wrap over. I make a, a lot of them uh, at least for the week and then they're grab and goes. Like I'm going to bingo tonight so this is going to be very ideal for me to take tonight. Um, so I may have to pick up some at the store. I do have, I think we have some chipped turkey and the best, I don't know in your area, uh, I am in Pennsylvania. We get Deets and Watson. Their pepper turkey is one of the best 
Um, I get it at Walmart or Giant Eagle. Uh, if you like the pepper taste, you'll love it. Um, okay, and then we go down to the evening, which is, again, the skim milk, which is going to be like a snack. And then that day, you're only getting 50 grams, but it's very close to 64. Now, I would suspect that you could actually, um, in your broccoli soup, you could probably add some of, where is my broccoli soup? Um, right there. You could probably add some of the dry milk, uh, and that would give you extra protein. Again, I'm not sure how many uh, tablespoons and what it would provide you, but you can you could always work with that. Um, I'm interested because I'm going to start this tomorrow. I'm going to show you one more. Um, it's the half cup of brand flake cereal, softened in skim milk, and then my water or non-carbonated beverage, which I use decaf tea, decaf. Um, coffee. Now the decaf tea you should get sugar free as well and it's really hard to find. Turkey Hill makes one. There was another brand that made one, maybe Alpine Swiss, something like that. Um, I didn't care for it. It tasted like there was flowers in it. Again, my opinion. Um, I'm really curious about this half serving of peanut butter balls. Now, the recipe is in here somewhere. Let's see. Here, here it is. Okay, so for the peanut butter balls, you're going to take one third cup of peanut butter only listed peanuts and salt okay so that means you're organic you don't want to use Jif because it has molasses and all the other stuff in it um, so just go for the more natural and I have a candle lit and the paper is almost on my candle so I had to move that um, one fourth cup of ground almonds or other nuts okay so then you just grab I like cashews maybe I'll try some cashews I do like almonds too and then we just you know, chop, chop, chop. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that's just it for the peanut butter balls. I'm not sure why it goes to baked tofu nuggets. Um, I don't see, let me see if she has a website for that. Nope, she doesn't. So on some of the recipes, she has a website next to it. On this one, she doesn't. I'm sorry I didn't read this before, but that kind of throws me off a little bit. Um... I guess you just roll them together and then you eat it. I think I would think a half a one third cup of peanut butter and one fourth cup of ground almonds. You're not gonna be able to get that in one setting. Uh, let me see if there's just maybe in the back here more. That's the salmon. I don't think I have this out of order. Oh yeah, I guess maybe I do. Um, because then this is unless she had it out of order, but. See, it says, it says, roll peanut butter into balls, then roll balls into crushed almonds. And then, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. one serving. So, I'm not sure how many servings that makes. I may have to call her and ask her. Um, let's just get back to the steaks. This is what I'm going to do tomorrow, and I'm really going to follow this. Um, then that mid-afternoon, you would have your skim milk again. We're over to dinner. And it's one cup of tuna salad made with fat-free Greek yogurt. And I'm assuming that you're going to make that with unflavored Greek yogurt. Because if you add blueberry or <laughs> vanilla, I don't think that would be any good. Um, this would be your evening. And they're saying 16 ounces of water, non-carbonated. And you see how it doesn't have skim milk today. It has 8 fluid ounces of green tea. So you must, in your earlier choices through the day, you get more protein so you didn't need the skim milk for that night um, you know you try it again I have a uh, hypoglycemic so I want to just make sure that my blood levels are are staying even kill I am actually nine minutes into this video I'm sorry I'm gonna have to end it um, this is 65 grams of protein and 64 fluid ounces and I will talk to you again very soon and let you know how that day goes I'm gonna do that tomorrow alright talk to you soon bye bye